give me a minute and we'll talk about what's happening right now in Azerbaijan and the Armenian enclave of Nagorno-Karabakh. The BBC is reporting that the Ar Azerbaijanis have begun shelling positions inside of Nagorno-Karabakh. So the tensions that have been building for 10 months now, which include the blockade of the road there, preventing food and humanitarian aid and supplies from getting to the Armenian enclave of 120,000 people, despite security guarantees from Moscow, have escalated into what could be the beginnings of a new war in the region. This is very disconcerting. The last thing that we need right now is another war breaking out. But the Azerbaijanis seem intent on it, despite calls from Moscow to abide by the ceasefire of 2020. And despite pleas from their friends in Iran. What is the implication of this? These are two former Soviet republics. These are supposed to be puppets of Moscow. But Moscow can neither maintain the peace, nor do they have the resources to enforce a peace. That's going to make news all across the Russian Federation. Everybody's going to pay attention to the impotence of the Moscow regime in this situation. With Ramzad Kadyrov very likely in a coma in Moscow, or even by some accounts already passed, the power vacuum that opens up in Chechnya, combined with the clear inability of Moscow to do anything about problems in its own backyard, is going to embolden everybody. Everybody. The Dagestanis are going to be watching this. The Irkutis are going to be watching this. The Yakutis are going to be watching this. The folks in Kamchatka are going to be watching this. We could be seeing the beginning of the dominoes falling. What happens in the next few months in Chechnya will tell us a lot about what the next few years are going to look like in this part of the world. We cannot be afraid of this. Putin is tearing the Russian Federation apart at the seams, and there's nothing any of us can do about it. We just have to be there to try to help pick up the pieces. But it does look like the dominoes are beginning to fall.